Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. Mike here with Hills and Holders Homestead, and I was just out here taking advantage of the blue skies and the sunshine because <laughs> it's getting to be about as common as an honest politician anymore, I'm telling you. It rained all night long, it rained all day today, just poured it down, cloudy, cloudy dreary, just miserable, and finally the, the clouds parted, the sun come out, and God smiled on us, and it hit 62 degrees, and I'm very happy about that, but now we're going to look at uh, 30 degree temps through the highs, or through the days coming up as the high. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> a couple things I want to talk to you about today. I'm going to put a link in the description. It's called the Garden Tower System. I want you guys to look at this. This is something that's going to, uh, in, in, there's a couple different options to look at. You got everything from commercial down to residential to look at for growing your own vegetables and even some fruits year round in your own home in like 30 square inches. <laughs> Uh, it's an aeroponic system. It's set up. It's it's. There's really a lot of good info on this, and I mean they've really pushed the envelope when they developed this by keeping it as clean as possible. Uh, it, it's easily to certify it organic because they follow all, all organic practices and use all pretty much organic type, type uh, stuff when they do this. Uh, and you can get it, and you can grow in your house year round. You can move it outside in the, in the summertime. You can put it in the corner of your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, your whatever. It's got grow lights. It's got everything that it needs. And you can grow, I think, up to 42 different plants on this thing. It's amazing. You can grow peppers. You can grow tomatoes. You can grow strawberries. You can grow beans. You can grow all your leafy greens. Amazing system. And I, about 600 bucks starting out. So it is going to be a little pricey, but if you think about that, in the off-season, what are you paying locally at your at your grocery stores for buying that kind of stuff? it kind of weighs itself out and the fact that you're growing and stuff in your own environment instead of buying something that's come from mexico or somewhere else that probably doesn't follow you know the u.s standards of cleanliness and hygienics I'm not saying anything bad about anybody i'm just saying practices you know you have to consider sources like that you have to consider the safety of your food again how many food recalls do we see a week repeatedly and, you know, you want to go to a store, you, you buy a head of lettuce or you buy something like that, or you buy a bag of, of a romaine salad mix or some kind of salad mix. You get home, you open it up, you eat a salad, you put it in the refrigerator, you close the bag back up. The next day you come out, it's all brown and wilted. That's it's just the reality of it. So now you've wasted that money. you got wilty lettuce. And nobody likes a wilty salad. I won't say nobody, but I don't like a wilty salad. But anyways, so something to consider because in the off season, like I said, that gives you the opportunity to grow what you like to grow. And they have all kinds of tutorials. They have all kinds of resources and everything for this stuff. I'll put the, the link in the description. Fantastic system. Check it out. <coughs> if you look at most uh, supermarkets now, there's a thing called food fraud. 10% of what you're buying in a supermarket is not what it, is, what it says it is. Or the ingredients are adulterated, which means that it's not what it says in the ingredients type of thing. And the FDA says that they're not... And, and how was that quote? We're not in the business of, um, uh, well, I'll say quote, end quote, or, you know, just kind of a paraphrase here, that they're not in the business of checking and verifying food labels. They're just making sure food is safe for consumption, and they don't usually do anything until a foodborne illness occurs. But anyways, cuts back on prices or costs and everything for you. It gives you fresh vegetables and some fruits all year long, grown right there in your home, readily available. Uh, it's very low maintenance. Once you get it, like I said, and everything, the way that it's built, it's all BPA-free and about as clean as you're going to get with that kind of, uh, you know, uh, material. So consider it, look at it, you know, do some research, start saving your quarters, and your pennies, and your dimes up, and uh, consider getting one to, you know, provide that safety and security. Is a garden tower going to keep you from starving? Likely not. <laughs> but it will give you an opportunity, like this time of year, you know, through the winter, to grow your own fresh vegetables and some fruits like in strawberries and things like that. So that's why I wanted to cover that because the wife and I got to talking that even if we, the possibility that we don't get the greenhouse this year, you know, whether we get approved or not or get on the list to get it, we would still probably want to consider getting one of those uh, for our own use. Because like I said, we've been craving salads here crazily recently. And uh, I don't know why. I think it's just this time of year, the lack of sunshine, <laughs> the lack of hospitable weather outside to where you know we're, we're craving that kind of stuff to kind of maybe uh fix that little uh seasonal affective disorder that we may be experiencing but check it out 
good resource, lots of good information on there, crap tons of videos about it. Consider it, think about it for the future. That's all for this evening. I'm going to go over here and pick on the pigs for a few minutes. Get prepared, stay prepared. Take care. God bless.